here's my Italian version of a perfect cookie. I start by baking up an easy batch of almond and lemon biscotti. Then I dip each one into melted white chocolate. It hardens into a sweet shell, a perfect complement to my almond and lemon biscotti. So we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. I'm gonna start by measuring two cups of all-purpose flour. And again, when you measure the flour, you just wanna use your finger to kind of even off the top. And a three quarters of a cup of cornmeal. And in Northern Italy, they're known for adding cornmeal to the biscotti. And I love it because it kind of gives it a crunchier texture, kind of coarser as well. And because it's corn, it's slightly sweet too. So it's really, really good. And we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And the baking powder just helps the logs kind of puff up and rise. And we're also gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. And the salt just brings out the flavors in the cookie, so you definitely need the salt as well. So now I just wanna give it a quick little mix. All right, so now let's mix the wet ingredients. I'm gonna start with three eggs. Leave them out for a few minutes so they come to room temperature. Otherwise, what happens is the dough ends up seizing up a little bit if the ingredients aren't all at the same temperature. So three whole eggs. So now we need to sweeten it all up with sugar. One cup of granulated sugar right in there. Okay, so now I want to mix the two together. I just want the sugar to dissolve in the eggs. And basically you're looking for a nice pale color. And that's when you know that the sugar is dissolved. I always start with a low speed and then work my way up. That way I don't cover myself in whatever's in the bowl. All right, so now that you've got a nice pale mixture and the sugar's dissolve in the egg, we have to zest three lemons. These are called almond and lemon biscotti, so you want lots of wonderful lemon flavor. All right, one, number two. And finally, number three. All right, and we're gonna give it a quick little mix. It perfumes everything. That's what I love about lemon zest. So now that that's all mixed up, we're ready to start adding our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. And I do this a little bit at a time. Again, start at a low speed and work your way up. There we go. Perfect. So I see it's already starting to thicken. Second batch into there. Last batch. Okay. I just want to take all of the batter out of the little whisks here. Just take them out. There you go. So we have one more thing to add. We're going to add some almonds. Now these are toasted almonds, but they're whole. So what I want to do is just give them a rough chop. And you'll find that in Italy they use a lot of almonds in biscotti. They add a nice crunchy texture to the actual biscotti. And then we'll just sort of mix them in with a spatula. So we're going to add three quarters of a cup and then just kind of mix it up just like this. Now that the almonds are all mixed in, I'm gonna let the dough sit for a couple of minutes and I'm gonna grab a bowl with some water in it to help me form the logs. So now I'm ready to form my logs. So you wanna take half of the dough, we're gonna form two logs. And the baking sheet's lined with a silicon um, coated baking sheet. And I'm just gonna dip my hands in the water. And see, we form these long logs. So, 
take the other half of the dough and put it on our baking sheet to get all of that cookie dough there. And so biscotti means twice cooked. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 325 degrees for 35 minutes until they're nice and golden brown on the outside. Then I'm gonna take them out, cut them into cookies, and bake them again.